Hey everyone, Michelle with Silver Snake Designs and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make these beautiful little chandelier like drop earrings and um, very beautiful things. When I was doing my cathedral beads um, in a prior video, um, I started playing around with this particular stitch. It's called Pondo Stitch. And so it's a new, it's a new favorite stitch, I have to say. And you can do like so many things with it. I think it's really pretty. I've gone ahead and made um, these in red and green and today we're going to do uh with blue cobalt blue like a sapphire blue sterling silver ear wires i have i've got uh these are size 11 toho pf558 you guys know me i love pf557 and 8 <laughs> and um, i have beading needle and like i said sterling silver ear wires that's all you really need to make this they're very quick uh, very easy. The other thing I want to say too is I made the red ones using Hercules, which is a um, braided fishing line, but it's got the strength of fire line with the like dangle and stuff sway of a nylon thread. So it's very loose. You can see it's pretty boop, boop, very loose very flowy so if you want to use you know something similar like a nylon wire if you don't have hercules you can use that or you can do fire line which is what i prefer when i do this and i am using six pound test i like the fire line just because i think it gives it a nice stiffness with a nice really pretty dangle and that's Really all I have to say about these earrings, very pretty, very pretty stitch. I absolutely love it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, let's just move these over here. We're gonna pick up four rondelles. We're gonna bring those down. I'm gonna leave just like a little tail of a couple inches. And then what I want to do is go through all four of them. Just like that. And go back through the first one I put on. I kind of want to do that I, um, just because it'll hold those base beads where they're supposed to be. If you don't do that, then they can stretch out and you know, you don't want that. So next thing, so that's the first round. Next round is we're gonna pick up a seed bead and we're gonna go through the next rondelle. Okay, pick up a seed bead, go through the next rondelle, pick up a seed bead, go through the next rondelle up a seed bead and go through the next rondelle but now what we have to do is because we have this seed bead here this is going to be like a step up so if you're familiar with peyote stitch you know if you do what is it even counter on I, I can never remember but one of those you have to do a step up so what we're going to do is we're going to take our seed bead and then we're going to go through the rondelle and then that first seed bead. Okay, now we did our second round. You can see it's very pretty, you know, very pretty stitch. Next one, next round, we're gonna do two seed beads and we'll go through the next seed bead. So this should kind of hug our rondelles right around there, just like that. Pick up two seed beads and go through the next seed bead. Pick up two seed beads, go through the next seed bead. And once again, we're gonna have a step up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go two seed beads and we're supposed to go through the next seed bead, but as you can see, there's a bead right next to it. So we're gonna go through those two just like that. 
There we go. And now what you're going to do, and follow a little, you know, follow closely with this one. We're going to pick up a seed bead. We're going to go right through the next seed bead, just like that, the one right next to it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up a seed bead. We're going to skip over this seed bead and go through the next seed bead. So what in essence we're doing is here, 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 and here, we're going through the next bead. So on these corners, we're going immediately through the next bead, but on the sides, you could see that this seed bead here is the original seed bead that we had put on in the prior round. Two rounds, two rounds. <laughs> and um, so we're gonna skip over that one but we're gonna pick up a seed bead. We're not gonna go through that bead. We're gonna go through the next bead, just like that. Then we're gonna pick up a seed bead. And because this is on a corner, Rondell, we're gonna go through the next seed bead. And because this is on like a flat square side, the long side, I wanna say maybe, we're gonna pick up a seed bead. We'll skip over this depressed seed bead and go through the following seed bead. And then we'll pick up a seed bead. We'll go th right through the next seed bead. We'll pick up a seed bead. We'll skip over this one and go through this seed bead here. Oops, keep hitting my, pick up a seed bead and then we'll go through the next seed bead here. And now we are on the side where we need to do a step up. And this is where it's a little confusing because we just went through the immediate bead right next to this seed bead. So that means we have to skip this bead and go through this bead, but there's an immediate bead right here. So we're gonna skip and that's our step up right here. And now, here comes the really easy part. <laughs> now we pick up the rondelles. So we're gonna go pick up a rondelle. We're gonna go through this bead that's sticking up like that. So we're gonna add on four, one. We'll pick up this rondelle. We'll go through this next bead that's sticking out, two. Then we'll pick up another rondelle. We'll go through this seed bead that's sticking out, that's three and pick up this seed bee or rondelle and go through this next seed bee that's sticking out and that'll give us four. And so there's our base. Now what I want you to do is we need to get our needle up here because we're gonna be making the loop. That's a better one to say. Be making that loop. And so what you want to do is come through here and come through here. I mean, you can go through that seed bead on the end if you want, but we're just going to follow the seed beads. Mind your thread. And then I'm going to bring my needle up here just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up five seed beads. And I'm gonna go back, so our thread is exiting here on the left side. I'm gonna go back through the right side, just like that. So we'll make a loop, just like that. And then if you want, you can go through as many times as you want. I'm gonna just go through one more just for the sake of this video. But if you wanna reinforce it with um, more loops, you can do that. So I'm just gonna go back through here back through here and back down through here. Okay, so now that I've made my loop, another little th secret. If you wanna keep the loop, sometimes your loops may not work very well. What you could do is take a little toothpick, stick it in, and then just pull it. And that'll give you a nice round loop. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we wanna get our needle back down to come through this rondelle so what I'm gonna do is just 
follow the beads back down, go through this bead, You can go through whatever bead you want. We'll go on the outside bead. We'll come down those two beads. And we will come out the blue rondelle. Okay. Alrighty. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up three seed beads, a blue rondelle, four seed beads, and four rondelles. And we're gonna bring it down just like that. And now what we wanna do is we wanna do the pondo stitch here. So this is how we're gonna do this. We're gonna go back through the very first rondelle that we put on. And we want to get it as close as we can to the seed beads. So you kind of just pull, push it up just like that. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up a silver seed bead. We'll go through the next blue bead, kind of like what we did in our beginner base there up at the top. We'll pick up a seed bead. We'll go through the next blue rondelle, pick up a seed bead go through the next blue rondelle. Now, here's the little tough part. Not really tough, but you just need to know which direction your thread and bead hole is going. Now, if we take a look, we can see that the thread is coming out here, okay? When you do this, you wanna go in the opposite of where your thread's coming out. So if the thread is coming out here, going to the left and into the seed bead, we wanna come in through the right side of the seed bead. And that'll hold your seed bead the way these other ones are. If you go through the same hole that the thread is coming out here, it will turn it so that the hole is vertical instead of horizontal. So once you determine which side of the bead, which hole the thread is coming out, go through the opposite, just like that, okay? And then you're gonna go through the rondelle and the next silver seed bead. And what you should do is if you pull, make sure it should look like this. So right now, this is where we are with our earring. And so now what you do is you just wanna pick up three seed beads, a rondelle and three seed beads, and we'll go up through here. Now, we want to do, there's a little part in here. If you look, on this one, I've got a little pretty one right in there, right at the end there. So in order to get our needle to these two seed uh, rondelles, we'll bring our needle up through this blue bead. Then I'm gonna come down this bead right next to it. So just like that, that bead right there. And then we'll pull, and then we'll go down those beads just like that. Then we'll pick up seed bead, rondelle, seed bead, and we'll go through that next rondelle up there. And now your last step is to get your thread over by this thread so we can tie this off. So I think I'm gonna come up through here. I'm just gonna follow the bead path. I think I'll come up through here. And 
know what's called that bead right there. And then I'll come out here and over here where that thread is. All right. Now what you can do is take your little toothpick, make your little hole, knot this off. And now, if you want, take some glue, add a little bit here. I'm not going to do it to this. And then add your little glue, stick a boop, 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 a little bit of glue there. And then you cut it off just like that. And I've got some extra thread and I'll save that for the next pair which I will do off camera. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take my sterling silver ear wire and find your little knot right there. So I want the knot in the back and then just do this. There you go, and there you go. She made a gorgeous little earring. Once you get used to this, you'll have this done in probably Gosh, I think I timed myself and did both pairs in under 20 minutes. So once you get going at this, um, this is a great earring because if you need something fancy, you can quickly make this, you know, if you're going out to a ball or something or wherever you need to go, or you just make them just for fun. So why don't you go ahead, make your second pair. You can rewatch this video and I'll see you in a few moments. Okay, and I have made my second pair there, and I really love these. These are just really, really pretty. I'm always partial to the, uh, the cyan color and the gold, but just very, very pretty stitch. So keep an eye out because I have more projects utilizing the Pondo stitch. So if you really enjoyed this tutorial and you want to be notified of more videos, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.